Design softwares are probably one of the biggest expenses for every designer. And especially if you are not a designer and you need to create a flyer, a logo, a website, or you just want to get creative, you might not want to pay the 60 bucks a month just to get access to the Adobe Suite, which can be quite overwhelming to pick up in the beginning. But no worries, there are a lot of actual free software alternatives out there, which help you get started no matter what you want to do. For example, if you want to design your own website, then Figma would be your go-to option. Figma is a versatile cloud-based design tool that enables users to collaborate on a variety of design projects, including user interface, user experience, graphic design, and prototyping. It has become a go-to tool for professional designers, but its features and benefits extend well beyond only just professional designers. Figma is used for UI UX design, so creating interfaces for websites and applications, and you can do prototyping in it, which means that you can build interactive prototypes to test and present the design concepts. You can do graphic design in Figma, which means designing visuals, including logos, icons, and marketing materials. And it's also a great tool for actually collaborating. So you can share your designs and your prototypes with either team members or clients in real time. The advantages of Figma is that it's really easy to use. Figma's intuitive interface makes it accessible to people with little or no design experience, allowing them to start creating designs or modifying existing ones without a steep learning curve. Another benefit is the collaboration we talked about. So for teams that include both designers and non-designers, Figma's collaborative features streamline communication and feedback. Non-designers can comment directly on designs, suggest changes, and even make edits all in real time. And Figma has a great accessibility. Being cloud-based, Figma can be accessed from any device with an internet connection, eliminating the need for powerful hardware or software installations. Figma offers a wide range of templates and resources that can help beginners get started on their design project quickly. It also provides an opportunity for learning design principles through practice and exploration within the tool. Beginners can use Figma to create simple prototypes of product ideas or improvements, enabling them to test functionality and user experience without needing to code. Figma also integrates well with other tools commonly used by non-designers, such as Slack for communication or Microsoft Teams, making it easy to incorporate it into your existing workflows. So all in all, as a beginner, Figma can serve as a bridge to better understand the design process, enabling you to contribute more effectively to creative projects. It democratizes design by making it more accessible and understandable to those without formal training, fostering a more collaborative and inclusive approach to creating digital products and services. Next up, we have GIMP. GIMP is a free open source software program used for various tasks, such as photo retouching, image composition, and image creation. Available across multiple platforms, including Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. GIMP serves as a versatile tool for graphic design, photography, illustrations, and more. It is mainly used for photo editing, from basic cropping and resizing to advanced photo retouching, GIMP basically provides a wide array of tools for enhancing and editing photographs. It's also used for graphic design, meaning users can actually create icons, graphic design elements, and art for user interface components and mockups. Speaking of art, you can actually do digital art in there as well, either from scratch or by modifying actually existing images. And you can also use it as image converter. GIMP can be used to convert images between different file formats or to prepare images for web use, ensuring that they are optimized for loading times without significant loss of quality. The advantages are that the program is cost-effective. Being free and open-sourced, GIMP is a cost-effective alternative to paid softwares like Adobe Photoshop. It's ideal for individuals or small businesses with a limited budget. But despite being free, GIMP includes a robust set of tools that cater to a wide range of image editing needs. From simple adjustments to complex manipulations, GIMP offers a customizable interface, allowing users to adjust the layout, tools, and features to suit their workflow. This flexibility makes it approachable for beginners and non-designers who may feel a little bit overwhelmed by too many options. And there's also a large community of GIMP users, which means a wealth of tutorials, forums, and free resources are available 
to help you as a beginner learning how to achieve the desired results. Being available on multiple operating systems ensures that no matter what hardware you have, you can access and use GIMP for your image editing needs. A wide range of plugins and extensions can add new functionalities to GIMP, extending its capabilities beyond the default installation. GIMP offers a gateway into the world of digital art and design without the investment required for professional grade software. It provides a platform for learning and experimenting with digital creation, whether for personal projects, enhancing social media content, or creating visuals for small business needs. GIMP's blend of powerful features and a supported community makes it a valuable tool for anyone looking to explore image editing and graphic design. Following GIMP, we have Canva. Canva is a user-friendly web-based design tool that allows users to create a wide range of visual content with ease. It's designed to simplify the graphic design process, making it accessible to individuals with little or no design experience whatsoever. Canva is used by professionals and non-designers alike for creating everything from social media graphics and presentations to posters, flyers, and you can even create videos in there. So what's the use case for Canva? You can easily create eye-catching graphics for platforms like Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest. You can design professional looking presentations with a variety of templates and tools. You can produce flyers, posters, brochures, and other promotional materials. Or you can create personal or business related items like invitations, business cards, and stationery. And as I've mentioned, with Canva, users can also create short videos, making it versatile for digital marketing and content creation. Its main advantages are that it's really easy to use. Canva's drag and drop interface make it incredibly easy for non-designers and beginners to create professional quality designs without prior experience or training in graphic design. Canva offers thousands of templates across various categories and themes, allowing users to start with a professional layout that they can customize to their needs. This is particularly helpful for those who might not know how to start a design from scratch. Being cloud-based, Canva can be accessed from anywhere with an internet connection. And it offers apps for both iOS and Android, making it convenient to design on the go. And it's quite affordable as well. Canva offers a free tier with a wide range of features, making it accessible for individual small business owners and nonprofits. There's also a paid subscription that provides access to more advanced features and a broader selection of assets. It's also really easy to collaborate in Canva, enabling teams to work together on designs in real time, share feedback and make revisions all within the platform. With a vast array of design types and the ability to customize every aspect, Canva is suitable for a wide range of projects from simple social media posts to complex printables and even small video projects. Canva also offers tutorials and design courses that help users improve their design skills, making it not just a tool for creation, but also a platform for learning. Canva democratizes the design process, offering the tools and resources needed to produce versatile appealing content without the steep learning curve traditionally associated with professional design softwares. Its user-friendly interface, combined with a wealth of templates and design elements, enable anyone, basically, to create high-quality designs effectively and efficiently. Next up, we have Inkscape. Inkscape is a free open-source vector graphics editor similar to Adobe Illustrator or CorelDRAW. It's designed to work with the scalable vector graphics, so SVG files. Also, it supports other file formats as well. Inkscape is used by designers and non-designers for a wide range of graphic design tasks, including vector illustration, logo creation, icon design, and layout for web print and mobile interfaces. Inkscape is used for creating scalable vector images that can be resized without losing quality. It's also used 
to design logos and other branding elements that require scalability for different mediums. But you can also create icons for applications, websites and user interfaces. You could also try yourself with designing and manipulating text for posters, flyers and other visual compositions as well. You can craft graphics for websites that need to be scalable and lightweight. One of the main advantages, as with the other programs as well, is that it's really cost effective. As a free open source tool, Inkscape is really highly accessible for individuals or small businesses who are actually on a budget but need a powerful design tool without the cost of a commercial software. Another advantage is that you can actually create vector graphics in there, which can be scaled up and down without any loss of quality, making it perfect for designing logos, icons and other graphics that need to work in various sizes. The Inkscape community is a valuable resource for beginners and non-designers as well. There are numerous tutorials, forums and user groups available to help learn the software and solve specific design challenges. Inkscape is also available for Windows, Mac OS and Linux, ensuring that it is accessible to users regardless of their operating system. It is super flexible and powerful. Inkscape offers a comprehensive set of tools for creating, editing and converting vectors, rivaling those found in commercial vector graphics softwares. Users can also customize their interface to suit their workflow, which can make the software more approachable for beginners and non-designers once they've learned the basics. Another great advantage is that it supports a lot of file formats. In addition to SVG, Inkscape supports a wide range of file formats, making it easy to import and export work to other graphic design softwares, web and print. For beginners, Inkscape provides a powerful yet really cost-effective solution for entering the world of vector graphics. Its versatility in handling various design tasks, combined with the support of a robust community, makes it an excellent tool for those looking to develop their design skills. Finally, we have a bit of a wild card, and that's Blender. Blender is not a typical graphic design program, but I want to mention it anyway because it's absolutely astonishing that a software like this is actually free. Blender is a open source 3D creation suite that supports the entirety of the 3D pipeline. Modeling, rigging, animation, simulation, rendering, composition and motion tracking, and even video editing and game creation. Advanced users can utilize Blender's API for Python scripting to customize the application and writing specialized tools. It's widely used by professionals in the field of animation, game development, visual effects, 3D printing and more. So what is Blender actually used for? Blender allows you to create detailed 3D models of characters, objects and environments. You can produce animated films, visual effects or motion graphics. You can create interactive 3D content and fully fledged games or design virtual and augmented reality experiences. It's also providing basic to intermediate video editing tools for cutting, splicing and color grading. The main advantage is obviously that Blender is completely free to download and use for any purpose. This makes it accessible to anyone looking to explore 3D design without any financial investment. There's a vast amount of tutorials on YouTube, guides and community forums available for Blender. This rich ecosystem of learning materials makes it easy for non-designers and beginners to get started and improve their skills. Blender's wide range of features means users can actually explore various aspects of 3D design within a single platform, from modeling and animation to rendering and video editing. And being open source, Blender is continuously updated and improved by its community and the Blender Foundation. This ensures that the design software remains cutting edge and expands its capabilities over time. As mentioned, Blender has a large active community. Users can find support, share their work for feedback or collaborate with others easily. Blender's interface can also be customized extensively to better suit the user's needs or project requirements making it more accessible to beginners and non-designers as they become a little bit more familiar with the software. Blender works as many of the other programs for Windows, Mac OS and Linux, offering flexibility regarding your operating system. Blender offers a gateway into the world of 3D design and animation, providing powerful tools that were once 
only available in really, really expensive commercial software packages. While there is a learning curve, the abundance of free learning resources and supported community can help ease this transition making it possible for anyone with interest and dedication to actually learn and create professional quality 3D content. I think it's crazy how many good tools are out there which are just completely free. And thanks to the internet, we can find all the tutorials out there to get started on whatever project we want to create. If you've made it this far and you enjoyed the video and you thought the content was useful, please consider leaving a like or even subscribing. This really, really helps out a lot. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.